With millions of Americans on vacation this holiday, an unwelcome headline tonight for hundreds of passengers on two separate cruise ships. Their holiday trips turned into a nightmare when so many of them became very sick. ABC's Matt Gutman is in Miami. It advertises comfort, luxury, and fine dining. Now sailing on the grandest ocean liner ever, Queen Mary 2. But now the colossal ocean liner is one of three cruises just this week to be rocked by mass outbreaks of the stomach flu. 194 Queen Mary passengers reported contracting the bug, believed to be the highly contagious neurovirus. It can even resist most of the disinfectants that are normally used to clean um, you know, environmental surfaces. So. so you can just touch something like this and then put it to your mouth and, and get the virus? Right. There's no treatment for the bug. Some passengers on the Queen Mary say the captain suggested they steer clear of the buffet. And tonight, the CDC is investigating why nearly 200 people were stricken aboard another ship, the Emerald Princess, which docked in Fort Lauderdale yesterday. One of those passengers was Sue Hayes, who posted on Facebook, the staff can't keep up with what they have to do for those who are sick. 16 ships reported stomach flu outbreaks this year. Cruise lines point out only a tiny fraction of their passengers are affected. Small comfort for those passengers sick on the high seas. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Miami. Illness on cruise ships is something that is easily preventable. If the proper precautions are taken, you can avoid subjecting yourself to illness on all cruise ships. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention evaluate all cruise ships on their precautions taken towards illnesses. Every cruise ship is evaluated by the CDC on the precautions that they take, so doing your research in advance can really help preventing disease. Food poisoning is often an illness seen on cruise ships, so avoiding lukewarm food and washing your hands frequently can help prevent you from contracting food poisoning. The summer-like weather has arrived, and if taking a cruise is in your plans, we have a warning. In a special Dirty Dining I-Team investigation, we found something on board several cruise ships you are not paying for, nor would you want. That was wonderful. Gary and Joy Edges just returned from a cruise. Did you guys take extra precautions washing your hands or anything oh, like that? God, no. We don't live that kind of life. Our kids ate dirt off the floor, so no, that would never be us. <laughs> but recent stats may make other passengers not as carefree. So far this year, seven cruise ships have had to return to port because of the norovirus on board. And more than half of those ships departed from Florida. It doesn't take many particles. Captain Jared Ames from CDC's Vessel Sanitation Program says the norovirus is highly contagious. They're easily transferable, and they remain on surfaces and inanimate objects for uh, not, not just days, but weeks, two to three weeks typically, and, and they're still viable. That means they'll still pass on the infection. And even though it's that contagious, an outbreak of the norovirus is never reflected on any inspection report for a cruise ship. In fact, since 2010, not one ship has failed an inspection, even though hundreds of passengers have gotten sick over the last two and a half years. You can have a ship that scores literally 100 the day before they had an outbreak, um, and, and the two don't coincide necessarily. Captain Ames claims the norovirus has nothing to do with the cleanliness on board. You may be making an assumption, or, or people may be making an assumption, that, uh, that a ship can, that, that has an outbreak has uh, some poor sanitation condition on board. Sometimes it has nothing to do whatsoever with the conditions on board the ship. But it can if a cruise line employee contracts the virus. You can shed the norovirus for up to two weeks after having it. And if people are not washing their hands properly and they're preparing food for other people, it can spread that way. Rebecca Snyder, an epidemiologist with the Hillsborough County Health Department, says it can also spread by touching a contaminated surface, like the many handrails and elevator buttons on cruise ships. A flu can stay on a surface for like 20 minutes. The norovirus can persist for days or longer. So what can you do to avoid getting sick? If you've washed your hands when you left your cabin, when you arrive there at the buffet, you'll use the uh, hand sanitizer again. That's a really good method. And, and also just avoiding uh, people that are having symptoms on board the ship.
Now, we reached out to all the cruise lines mentioned in our story, but only heard back from Royal Caribbean and Princess Cruises. Both said they take the norovirus outbreaks very seriously and thoroughly sanitize their ships. To see their full responses, inspection reports, and the norovirus outbreak history for all the ships, we've posted a link to the CDC Vessel Sanitation Program on our website at abcactionnews.com slash dining. Jameson. Wendy, thank you. Properly notifying employees on the cruise ship of an illness is important in their efforts to quarantine the illness as soon as possible and protect all parties involved. <laughs> if you follow all of these precautions, you should enjoy your cruise illness free.